Hi, today I got a parcel with some orchid supplies. It came from Tropical Gardens Orchids. They are all the way in BC, but package took only two days to arrive because they sent it with express post. So now I kind of um, feel sorry that I didn't throw in some orchids because even though it's pretty cold outside, but in two days, nothing would happen to them. So this package contains some fertilizer and some bark. So here's what, what's in the box. First of all, there is the orchid fertilizer. It's an MSU fertilizer with um, formula 13315. I've, um, I've been growing orchids for many years, since 2011, and I never had proper orchid fertilizer. Uh, it's pretty bad, I think. Uh, I was using all the time this this uh, all-purpose balance 202020 fertilizer that I bought here at the local store. And this jar is lasting me all these years because I don't really have a schedule or routine to fertilize my orchids. Like my orchid care was basically water when dry. I would poke my head into a tank, see which ones are dry, because they all drying out in the different times, not all together, right? So I would just take a few that are dry and water them with tap water, and that's it. Occasionally, I would uh, miss a few days of checking them, and then they all will get dry. And then I would create a solution of that all-purpose fertilizer with quarter strength in the water, tap water, and water my orchids. But that would happen really irregularly, depending also on my mood, if I want to do it or not want to do it. So basically my orchids didn't get proper fertilization. Even though they look fine and healthy, but I think maybe if I would fertilize them with a good fertilizer and regularly, maybe they would do even better. The other stuff in the box are two bags with Archaeata bark, which is supposed to be super extra large, super great. So this is again my effort to create fertilizing routine for my orchids. And uh, to do that, to do regular um, waterings, I need to make sure that they have time to dry out in between. And I use bark for my Phalaenopsis orchids, larger Phalaenopsis orchids. They grow in plastic pots with bark mix. And normally I used uh, the uh, pine bark. I'll show you my like pine bark. It's, it's right here. It's in the box here, and see, that's my pine bark that I normally use. It's nice and clean because I usually buy it in the bulk, like one cubic meter. No, I think one cubic foot, sorry. And then I usually do it in the summer and I wash it with water. I change water many times and wash it. And then I put it to dry in the sun for whole day. So it's very clean and nice. And then I put it in the cardboard box. Well, this is just a box from 
my husband's tools but it's good to keep my bark in so it's not in plastic it's in cardboard so it stays dry and clean and I've been using this bark for many years this type of bark I was buying it in big quantities and I mixed it with a large sponge rock but then right now in my humid tank this size of bark is too small I thought it was too small so it doesn't dry out in the big pots it doesn't dry out very fast so I wanted to, when I saw that tropical gardens has a um, archaeata that is super great and supposed to be extra large and the pictures it's hard to say what size it is so I decided to order two bags just to see what the size is and so these are two bags that came and well I don't think it's much bigger well actually maybe this oh not they're not uniform there's some very small too I was expecting them to be all large ones I've got there is also garbage well oh, that's not impressive hmm. anyways that's a large archaeata so an uh, extra large archaeata that I was gonna try for my larger phalaenopsis to see how long it takes to dry out and hopefully uh, make them to dry out a bit faster See, there are some small ones too and now I don't even know which one is it seems like my pine bark is even bigger but anyways I'll figure it out maybe I'll just sort them by size see I'll pick out the big ones and um, separate from small ones which might be pretty tedious too so anyways that's what I bought uh, for my phalaenopsis orchids I will mix the uh, this bark with sponge rock and try to use it for my phalaenopsis and see how long does it take for them to dry so those are supplies that I bought this fertilizer, MSU fertilizer and some archaeata bark thank you for watching and have a nice day